right guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is gonna be my unboxing of the high-tech HSB 9380 Ultra Torque Servo. Now, I've been working on a new project here at the RC Network, the Axial Yeti XL uh, kit version, and I definitely needed some power uh, for this large monster buggy. This thing is actually coming in at uh, close to a, a 1 6 scale range, uh, although they do call it a 1 8 scale. So I went to my friends over at High Tech to see what they had as far as uh, something that had lots of torque to turn those monster 7 inch tires and wheels. So um, I, I chose this servo. This is the 9380. This is part of their new line of servos. They're brushless, uh, powered by Castle. Uh, you've noticed that name before in the RC industry. Um, this is also a high voltage servo. This is also a super efficient servo. Uh, it actually includes their new uh, pad uh, little plug-in device to help uh, just monitor everything and keep everything uh, happy in the land of servos. So um, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. We're going to take a look at some of the specs here. But I uh, wanted to show you guys exactly what I'm going to be running in my XL. And maybe you guys can check it out, maybe for your RTR, uh, if you want to upgrade uh, the stock servo from your RTR Yeti XL and get a little bit more power uh, to those large monster buggy tires. So comes in one of their nice boxes. I love these little boxes. I use these for little parts trays and whatnot to uh, sort parts or if I'm working on a car and you know, I run out of time. I threw all my nuts and bolts and stuff in there to uh, come back later and still have all of my parts. So great thing that the uh, servo companies do with these nice little boxes. So flip side over here, let's take a look at some specs. Um, this is one of their, like I said, ultra tor torque servos. Um, at six volts, you're looking at 0.18 second transit time and 472, let's call it Let's just round it up there. 472 ounce inches of torque, uh, 7.4 volts at the high voltage setting. Uh, you gain a little bit of speed, so you're up to 0.14 and uh, that same 472. So nice, uh, uh, right under 500 ounce inches of torque, and that should be perfect for this monster buggy. Uh, titanium gears you're seeing there, um, ultra hardness gear shaft. I mean, this, they just did not do um, injustice to this servo. Water and dust resistant. So for you guys, water guys, still resistant, not waterproof. So, um, you know, a little splashing, a little water, you're probably good with this servo. If you're going to submerge this thing, probably not the right servo. So, um, you know, just a, definitely a good ultra premium servo. It has the castle name on there, so they're definitely... Uh, a good little brushless motor on there. The power miser, um, just, you know, they're just monitoring so you don't have any issues with your servo. Uh, over here on this far side, high voltage logo, 7.4 volt capable, um, you know, just great specs on this thing. The other thing I really like is these uh, new 25 tooth spline uh, servos. So high tech is kind of uh, starting to go away from the 24, I believe, and heading over to the 25, which is starting to become almost a standard which I definitely appreciate. Let's get this thing cracked open and see what we get inside the box there as my voice cracked even. Um, lots of talking today, lots of videos coming out. Wanted to show you guys some new stuff. So uh, inside the box here, you're getting a whole package. You actually get a nice, uh, this is a hex drive screw, which is nice. Tired of the Phillipses that you get with most servos. Big box or big bag here of nice little uh, servo horns. You got some mounting hardware in there, some grommets, screws. You got lots of stuff in there, which is nice. Even a little retaining ring right there too, which is pretty nice. Here is the little pad device or basically what I'm calling like a voltage cap. It's just basically a power absorbing device for high tech brushless servos. Nice. They include it in the box. Gotta love that. Inside here, Instruction manual, which is very nice. High-tech stickers, I use those. I think there's one right over here, all blurry and all. So, let's take a look at that servo. Um, I actually run a very similar servo in my Yeti, uh, the one-tenth scale version, and I, I decided to choose the same servo, or at least the same family of servos here. Um, this one has some serious torque. 
So you're looking at uh, the wire being right about 12 inches long in length. So you got plenty of room for those larger scale um, vehicles. And let's go ahead and pull this thing off. I'm going to use my trusty knife here. See if I can't cut some plastic with my Spyderco. There we go. And pulling this off and out of the package. There we go. It actually comes with a Phillips screw already installed onto that uh, horn as well. And you're seeing here, this. I love the diamond kind of edging right there. This is all aluminum heat sink just to keep it nice and cool. Nice color there. Wish I knew what color it was so I could tell you guys, but you guys can hopefully guess. I'm actually colorblind, so that doesn't help me. A little protective sticker here over the uh, high-tech logo here. Peel off that once I get this thing installed. And a very nice servo. So got uh, some of the uh, info there. Once again, the 9380TH High Torque, Ultra Torque. I can't wait to get this thing installed. Well, I'm going to be busy here turning some screws, getting some stuff calibrated, and getting this installed in that Yeti XL you see in the foreground. And I am out of here. So comments or questions, uh, feel free to post those on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.